So what did we learn from the New Hampshire primary last night? Well, simply stated, it appears both major parties appear to be ready for something decidedly different, political, uh, politically speaking, uh, with the victories of Bernie Sanders on the left and Donald Trump on the right. And let's evaluate what happened with the national spokesperson for the Republican National Committee, Lindsey Walters, who is Skyping in from Washington. Uh, Lindsey, first, your reaction to last night's primary. Does the record turnout signal a revolution not only in the Republican Party, but across party lines? Last night, we saw a record turnout for the Republican Party. For us, that is great. That shows the enthusiasm of this primary. The American people are excited to elect a strong Republican to the White House. Last night, we also saw the Democrats' you know, favored nominee fall short. She, Hillary Clinton lost to Bernie Sanders by a large margin. We watched her an embarrassing performance in Iowa and then again last night in New Hampshire with a loss to Bernie Sanders. On the Republican side, so-called outsider candidates are doing well. Look at Donald Trump's big victory. Uh, a lot of folks have been saying they think it's due to the fact that Americans are angry, especially the Republican base, and there is a fundamental distrust of government, whether at the federal level or in the states. Is the RNC getting that same message? We saw um, Trump did well last night in New Hampshire. Cruz did well in Iowa. We're still very early in this process. You know, we're only two states in. We have a long road ahead of us. In 2008, we didn't see a no clear nominee come out until April. On the Democrat side, though, you've watched the candidate who was, who was favored to win fall short. You have a socialist from Vermont who is making head waves. And for any one of our candidates, they are far more qualified than either of the Democrats. We're looking at two opponents who one is under an FBI investigation and the other is, is a socialist from Vermont. All right, I think you sum it up. Lindsey Walters, Skyping in from Washington. We thank you for your time. We we'll look forward to having you back again real soon. Now, on the subject of presidential politics, got, got to show you what happens. And I've been in this situation speaking to civic groups. Uh, take a look at what went on with Jeb Bush when he stands up to address the Nashua Rotary Club. This is a real story here in New Hampshire. I can promise you the best way to show respect outside of rebuilding our military to, to men and women uniform is to fix that mess as fast as I can. That's it. Thank you. They're kicking me out the door. They're kicking me out the door. Governor, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, I, I believe your schedule has a hard stop. Oh, that was a hard stop. We get that occasionally in television. Time is a four-letter word. But when you consider that Jeb came in seven-tenths of a percentage point behind Ted Cruz, I wonder if continuing that speech might have made a difference. I guess we'll never know. Uh, now, for the way you see it, your comments via social media. Tonight, first up, it's Joseph writing in about Bernie Sanders victorious in the Democratic primary. And he writes, J.D., it's a sad day when a socialist like Bernie Sanders can win in New Hampshire. This says loads about where our nation is headed. Sanders should be running for office in Cuba, Venezuela, or North Korea. I think only Venezuela actually has elections there. Next up, it's Daryl writing in about the Fox News Marco Rubio fallout. Here's what Daryl has to say. It would appear Fox News has a house divided on Rubio versus Trump. I wonder who will be fired first. Thankfully, we have found Newsmax where there are more truths than lies. The people have spoken loud and clear. Donald Trump and conservative voters have brought the fear of God's wrath to all on the left and to counterfeit Republicans. End of story. Or is it? You may have some comments for us. We'd love to hear from you. And here is where you send me those comments. Get on your computer. Go to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. That'll do it for this Wednesday night. Until tomorrow night, stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.